here at Jeff Schultz Sports Columnist for the AJC. I'm Noah Kozlov. I'm getting into the reaction to Johnny Manziel, Josh Gordon, and it's a lot of snark, but there seems to be and there, there should be a deeper conversation about this. How do you view the quote-unquote analysis? Well, Noah, I mean, in, to be truthful, five years ago before we experienced addiction in our own family, I probably would have been in the bleachers uh, with the same snark and, and humor and sarcasm and, boy, look at that dumbass throwing his career away and what a lazy bum. And I would have been right there. But over the last five years, I've educated myself quite a bit about drug and alcoholism, addiction issues. And um, my view is the stories of Johnny Manziel and, and Josh Gordon are sad. They're sad stories. I mean, you, you can judge them in their actions and in their words. Um, uh, Johnny Manziel on TMZ the other day saying there's nothing wrong with partying a little, bro. Uh, well, if you're not an alcoholic, he's correct. Um, and Josh Gordon playing down, it, effectively playing down marijuana use, saying if you if you have if you want a real story, call me. So um, to me, they're sad stories, um, and um, it's sad if they end up throwing their careers away, and it's sad if they end up throwing their lives away. Obviously, mm -hmm. is there a greater responsibility from? the NFL from teams not to allow them onto their rosters until they get proper help or at least try to push them that way? Look, the sad reality of the situation is, you know, both those guys, when they're not succumbing to their, to their illnesses, and they are illnesses, they're wonderful athletes. And, and they sell tickets and, and potentially they can win games. I understand the debate about Johnny Manziel in terms of really how good a quarterback he can be. but. Much like Tim Tebow, obviously, he's a guy who excites a lot of people. Mm -hmm. People like to watch him. They, he, they sell tickets. Josh Gordon has the potential to be one of the greatest receivers in the NFL. Um, I think he has Hall of Fame potential, actually. So um, the problem when you have a situation like that is, you know, unfortunately, it's all about money. And I think the NFL in general and teams in particular can say we really care about these guys and we care about their, you know, how they take care of themselves and all that. But in the end, they really care about winning football games. And, and, and so there's sort of this weird dynamic of uh, we don't want them to use drugs, but we want to win games. Um, a lot of these guys, as you know, would never be signed or drafted if they couldn't play football. So right. that, to me, has always sort of outweighed what other illnesses or addictions they might have. What does need to happen next? Well, look. Ideally, it would be great if, if all sports leagues got together and said, you know, we can't allow this. The answer is not just throw these guys in jail. The answer is serious treatment, serious support, serious education uh, about the issues. It's a societal problem. It's not a sports problem. Mm -hmm. I just think maybe in, in, in athletics, because so much of it revolves around money, um, there's probably a little more enabling that is going on um, than should. Um, if, if Johnny Manziel and Josh Gordon deliver the mail, we wouldn't have this. Right. Um, so I think where it needs to start is less enabling and more education. Um, but I just don't know how realistic that is. Jeff Schultz of the AJC, The Perspective. I want to hear on this. Good talking to you. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, Noah. Take care.